Hey guys, I'm Luke here, you're watching Superman and Lois Season 2, Episode 10. The show's finally back after another break, which... I don't know a show that takes as many breaks as this, and I know it's not the show's fault, like, they had issues with COVID during production, like, I know there was COVID outbreaks and stuff like that on the, on the show, on the set. So obviously it's not the show's fault. Um, it just, it feels like the show just gets really unlucky, like, it happened a lot in Season 1, and it's starting to happen this season. <laughs> I hope it's not something that the show gets stuck with, because... I mean, for me personally, it doesn't harm my enjoyment of the show, but, but I'm just worried that, like, a show taking this many breaks, it's got to be hard to keep a, a loyal, a good loyal audience like that. Like, people won't know it's back, people won't know it's off. Like, I feel like it's so easy to lose your audience taking so many breaks, and I just I want the show to have a big audience because it deserves it, because it's an amazing show. It truly is. It's, it's up there for me as one of my favourite comic book shows, and I know we're only on season two, but Daredevil only had three seasons, and that's probably my top one, so... It's just, it's so good. It gets this character of Superman so right. I love all the characters. I love the stories. I love the writing in particular. I love the acting. I just, I love the show so much. Now, if I can remember back to the last episode, it was the 30 Days and 30 Nights one, which I really, really love that episode because if you've been watching my reactions this season, you know I got pretty hyped when I thought they were doing Death of Superman and it's something I've been talking about the show doing ever since they reveal John Henry Irons to be honest I'm pretty sure like back in what was it season 1 episode 7 when you, you, we find out that he's John Henry Irons I, I think I started talking about it then and then they introduced the Eradicator got more excited and then this season I really thought they were going to do it and they kind of like it sort of half did it um, last episode I really loved it like seeing Steel become a public hero having Jordan go around I'm loving the um, the Smallville vibes Jordan's giving me obviously I've not watched all of Smallville I've only watched like a bit of the first season which you can actually check out my reactions to on this channel and I will get back to you someday I promise I know I'm terrible for shows like that but I will get back to it one day um, but I really love the Smallville vibes I got from Jordan just running around in this hoodie um, the scene where he takes out the guy like the the heat vision's coming out of him and he realises just how fast he is and he can just step out of the way that was so cool I love that so much um, is that everything I've got to say? I think that's everything I've got to say oh no we ended off obviously with Bizarro World Jordan which not Jordan sorry Jonathan so let's see what happens with that and just dive into the episode right now Ooh. oh oh okay so this is a Bizarro World episode obviously super Oh, it's like tearing apart his face as well. I just thought it was tearing apart his suit. This is so cool. Oh, he's going for another one. Oh. So what, does that bring you into like a sort of void? And then you have to go for another portal into Bizarro World. Oh my god, look at that. And he's healing, okay. He still has some powers though. I'm guessing his powers are going to start weakening, right? Because of the red sun. Yeah, red sun, right? And it's a square, it's a cube, I love that so much, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's the planet a cube as well. If the planet's a cube, oh my god. Oh my god, this is incredible. <laughs> They've got full comic book, I love it. God, look how good Clark's suit looks there though, in that lighting. That looks perfect, that looks so perfect. The rise and fall of our hero killer. And uh, it's the oh, it's the end letter that's capitalised, <laughs> not the first. Oh, Easter eggs? Are these Easter eggs? Oh, um, the city. Oh, I, I'm like Argo, Argo. No, not Argo. Oh, Candor, Candor. That's it. Okay, armor. I, well, maybe Lex. Battle armor, maybe. Is that is that the what, like the huge key? Cal? Yeah, that's the key to the fortress. Okay. Did he send you? My son? Hey, okay, how's it going? How do you speak backwards? Not exactly. How did he do that? Well, I don't think I could He's speak gone. backwards like that. It's impossible for humans to coexist with beings of that magnitude. Whoa. What just flew through? What, what was that? Whoa. We need to get to the farm. <laughs> Whoa, that looks so strange. <laughs> you can fly. Do a lot more than that. I love like the little things they put into showing Quack's movements here. Like, the red sun. Yeah, his powers are gradually weakening, right? Weakens me. Yeah. The two of you didn't get along? Yeah, let's let's just say that we didn't exactly see eye to eye on some decisions I made. Oh, this is going to gonna think about you know, his way with Jonathan. Okay, this could help his relationship with his job. They can get stuck in their ways. 
But he didn't really have a chance. Yeah, because he didn't care. Yes, he did, John. Oh, Louis. More than you'll ever know. Just try to enjoy yourselves. What is Jordan wearing? Mr. Bell, please. Oh, big Jim, big Jim. It's, it's okay. Uh, how about we just get a yeah. picture for these guys? That's gonna be. Thank you so much. What, like your biggest fan. Why would Super need security? People like you. Oh, smile again. He's not even noticing. The shoulder thing that you see his pose? Yeah, here we go. Have you thought of a name for me to give the press? Oh, um, what, what about Superboy? <laughs> Seriously trying to embarrass me right now? I think we can do better than that. <laughs> wow, they're going full 90s Superboy. I love it. <laughs> I love this so much. Oh my god. Look at this. this I mean, I was bizarro and bizarro super bad, but still. Just sit on the super bad. Nothing gets old. Oh, is that his thing? <laughs> yeah, cracks. I can't remember what that's about either. <laughs> your father you do what I tell you to do you understand oh so so now you want to be my dad now that I have powers oh where were you before oh. don't you take that tone with me <laughs> the one of us who part of you's been missing I guess maybe that's true I know it's true is he gonna get pulled into the like oh the meet. alley yeah okay I start going this way the merging don't tell him anything, he's working for Ali. <gasps> oh shit, he, I thought he just stopped working for Ali. Now, you're gonna tell me where I can find those pendants. Oh my god. And the kryptonite? Uh oh. Is that part of the job? So is that what made them all scarred and stuff, the kryptonite? It's making me better. It's okay? making you crazy! I'm a superhero, Lois! I go where oh, people damn. need me. Look at Tyler. We need you, damn I, it. I'm busy. Jonathan and I, we need you just like Jonathan did. I... Oh, and this is when he burns the house. Okay. Oh, I love the effect for the fire burn. Oh, no, he just burns the barn. Not the house. Sorry. I didn't know where else to go. You've always been there for me. <laughs> wow. But you also didn't need me showing up out of the blue upset about the exact thing you warned me would happen with Cal. Don't you worry, we're gonna get this movement of hers under control. That so, more but the Kent's not a thing here? Or did he just go by Cal? political Kala? agitators, ex-military, people with powers. We're gonna Cause he's not called Clark Kent, he's just Cal. we're gonna get John out of that damn cult. And then this is the bunker, Ali like, John Herrera's had, right? Earth if she merges with herself. No, it was never there. It would've mattered. You are now. <laughs> Cal. That's, that's what she said to... Uh, the DOD. Most of which uh, is hopped up on Kryptonite. The normal the episode. You're not as strong as you once were. I have to save ourselves. If it's the last thing I do. I have to save. Man. You're gonna tell me where I can find those pendants. Jonathan. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Fox weak ahead. That's true. Oh, Lana got laid out. Look at them. You didn't tell me he had power. Oh, but he killed that Anderson. Oh, oh. Now he can never merge. That's the Anderson he killed. Okay. I've killed anyone before. Oh, damn. Oh, hey, Olsen. Any luck with that? Olsen? 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 Is he here? Ah. Boss, I have never seen anything like this. Oh, so it's not easy for normal humans to do it. Okay, only, only I'm guessing only Clark could do it because of his abilities. That's why he can speak so easily. Language. Sir, do, do you know what happened to my dad? He, he went to your world. Oh, he killed him. Oh, for the end. He's the one that killed him. Wait, is this going to mean he's going to find out Clark Kent's Superman, right? Dad. No, maybe. My dad. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a bit of a sore subject. Yeah. Heroes Wilson. Mio. Oh. It seems actually genuinely remorseful. What does that mean? What does that mean? George. What does that mean? <laughs> oh my god. I'm afraid your father's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a scene. Oh my god. 
I when he killed Bizarro, I didn't expect it to like <laughs> be so emotional. Maybe it's enough to get you back through the portal alive. I don't think he's going back. I think he knows after everything that I've done, you would still try and save me. I've yes. told you before. To me, everyone's worth saving. Yeah. Oh, but I love the show. Proved that you and the other Superman were the bad guys, but instead it was Allie and me. How could I be so wrong? You were a bit stupid, to be honest. At some points. Just to mm -hmm. protect them. Now he gets it. Yes. Okay, I didn't see there was no discipline in this character. I'm so bored of it though. Sort of redemption, maybe. Oh, that's Tal. Oh, that's Taro. Oh, fuck. Talro, Lana, and both the alleys. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, look at that. Put you in fly. I'm liking this fight so far. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, yeah, that's honestly gone. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, okay, Anderson is down. Jesus. Uh oh. Oh my god, they're gonna merge, aren't they? What's that? Um, it was. That was Kyle. If this is about hosting the S. Lois and I just bought a place nearby. Here, in Smallville. Yeah. It's got a barn and tons of land. It's a total change okay. of pace from Metropolis. So yeah, he was never with the Kents Why in this world. Why on Earth would you do that? Why on Square Earth? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, she's too good for me. That's true. This changes nothing between us. It will always be my brother. Oh, I'm, I, wish, you, I wish they could have this relationship on... All you have to do is ask. Our world. I'm loving seeing it. Like, this is just these two scenes. Now let's get you married. What the dress? Bam. Yeah, she's too good for you. <laughs> Don't get involved with that one, oh please. God. She's dangerous. I love how he's acting here. That's bizarre. You. No, you promised me. You promised. If I, if I needed something, anything. It's complicated. Lana really believes in what she's doing. Oh, yeah, this is how Lana. Oh, okay. You walk away from Allie. Will you walk away from me? I'm loving this episode so much. Oh my god. Cow. What is she becoming? Yes, come on, Tal. Come on, Tal. Come on, Tal. Tal, stop it. You seem like a good guy. Come on, Tal. Come on, Tal. I failed my brother once before. Yes, come on. Seeing you here reminds me of what I lost. Come on, Tal. Tal. <laughs> Save your son. Go! Oh, please end, please end, please end, please end, don't end, don't end, don't end, don't end, don't end. I swear to God, if this ends, please don't end. Okay. Yeah? Where's Clark? Why did you get so dramatic? He was too late. Is he okay? Now I'm nervous. Probably not. Oh, no. Why oh, are shit. You here? Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. But what if, this, what if John gets promised this way? I don't know. I don't know. Ah! Well, that was incredible. That is. That was. That's definitely one of my favorite episodes of the show. Um, <clears throat> man, that was so good. I loved seeing the Bizarro world and all the different versions of the characters. I loved um, Bizarro and John just seeking with powers. Like, yeah. Oh, that was so good. I've got so many things to say. Okay, let me try. I don't know. Like, I'm gonna try and organize my thoughts. Um, so yeah, episode was amazing. Um, I think up to now, my favorite episode would have been. I don't know. I really love season one, episode eleven. Like, I think that's a really amazing episode. Um, but this, this is up there. This was so good. I love like it just they went full on. Like they, they didn't, they didn't half do it, which I'm glad. Like they just, they just went all in with the bizarre stuff. Like they did the cube sun, the cube world. Um, like on the pool table, they were like cubes instead of instead of balls. The same for the glasses. Uh, I just I love how they went all in. They didn't hold anything back for that. I think that was really good. Which, yeah, I love that for this show because this show like, not I'm trying to think like its tone. It's not, I'm not it's not like serious, but like it's it's dramatic. You know, it takes it doesn't take itself too seriously, but like you know, it it doesn't make a joke out of itself. But yet they still like 
they'll still go all in on some of these co- on some of like these crazy silly comic book stuff, but they treat it like with like a real like. I don't know a word of the series because I I don't mean serious in like that really, but just like they take it seriously and I don't it just works. It works so well in the show. I absolutely love it. Next thing I really want to say is Ty, I really love Tyler's acting this episode, especially as Bizarro uh, Bizarro Keller. Like in so like he really I don't know like in some of the scenes, especially the one with Taro, like with like. I'm, I'm guessing the makeup and obviously that helps but like sell it but I really bought it that he was addicted to the script that I really really bought it like it works it really worked for me um, and some of the scenes I actually I like it's pretty emotional some of the scenes actually in this episode that I didn't expect one I really didn't expect is the scene with our Anderson when uh, Bizarro Jordan asked him like oh what happened to my dad and he realises that you know he killed his dad that was a really really great scene and I really did not expect Anderson to have such a quick turnaround, I don't know. This might just be me, but I think like I, 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 I didn't. Not only did I not see it coming, like it just happened so quickly. Like, I mean, I guess like, I guess I didn't actually think about last episode why he ripped the pendant from her. He he just sort of took it and left. I to me, I guess I just sort of read that as him being like selfish for power. You know, he wanted more power for himself. But no, like he and his other self. I think he. Mm-hmm. I think he and his other self plotted this right like Ali said you didn't tell me he had powers and he said he didn't know that but so maybe he didn't know his other, maybe Bizarro Anderson didn't know normal Anderson had powers but it still seemed like they'd been plotting something together right or was this just normal Anderson's plan and Bizarro Anderson knew nothing of it Bizarro John was an absolute treat to watch I loved his little sequence of stuff seeing him get famous really did give me like 90s Superboy vibes like of him of uh, Connor working with Lex Corp and stuff and being like a public figure and all that. Um, I don't whatever the thing, I don't know what the thing of his hand was, but I, I just loved how like that that was like his signature thing and then you see Clark looking at it like, what is he doing? <laughs> Speaking of, I actually, I called him Clark there, I shouldn't have called him Clark because uh, Bizarro Killer, I'm guessing, we don't know like his full history, but it seems like he was definitely never adopted by the Kents because he bought the Kent farmhouse, but he's like, yeah, we bought it, like, he didn't mention they were having any relation to his family. He just goes by Kal-El, like Jonathan and Jordan, just Jonathan L. Jordan now. And just seeing Bizarro Kal-El and Bizarro Jonathan like fighting side by side together, like I, I think it was only like one or two scenes, but even still, I just loved it. I like, see them flying together, landing, taking out the bank robbers. I just I want our uh, Clark to have a scene like that with either Jordan or Jonathan. Obviously, it was more sacked to Jordan because Jonathan doesn't have powers. Although maybe this is how he gets them because the end, uh, like the way what, that final scene when they kept like flashing like black. Like you know, it kept like fashion to black and jumping. Like it gave it this really, really dramatic feel that I don't know. I just I feel like you wouldn't do that if this if something big wasn't gonna happen. Like for example, like if next episode starts and Clark flies in and like just saves um Jonathan and the other Jonathan like flies away or something, I'm about well, you really made this way too dramatic last time. I know shows do that. Um and I know shows do that, like and on a really dramatic note and then like next episode everything's fine. Um I don't know, I just I the way some but something about the way they did it didn't feel like the usual oh they just want a dramatic end and get through be fine next time like the flash into black that really made me think like I don't maybe maybe I'm just being crazy but it really makes me think that something's big's gonna happen like maybe they like, partially merge and Jonathan has powers maybe they fully merge and our Jonathan we we lose our Jonathan and like we just have to I don't know I don't know we'll see what they do um, I'm guessing Clark will show up soon though because we saw him fly into the portal so he's on his way there at least right. I really loved Tal this episode, just seeing like, I don't know, just seeing the actor play it is so differently, because obviously our Tal is so different to this one, and I really love seeing that, um, and it made me want our Clark to have a relationship like this with Tal, just, I, I really just enjoyed watching them, that scene in the bar where he tells him Lois is pregnant, um, although maybe he ends up having a relationship with this, Tal or maybe, no I don't think they'll do that, but just when he's there like, I'm when he told Clark that seeing you I'm reminded of everything I lost and that's enough to just turn him instantly I don't know I love that I, I thought that was so good I think that's pretty much all I've got to say for this episode um, in fact the one last thing I've got to say whoever like whoever's working in the show that designed how bizarre Jordan looked like what did Alex Scarfin do to you like he must have he must have like, shot your dog or something like what they did to him so dirty like they gave him the weird like he could pro- he could look good with straight hair, but not the way they did it. Like I'm like, why is this hairstyle? Whatever outfit he was wearing at the gala, like bizarro fashion is not it. Like I don't know what he's wearing. It it, it was not the move though. Um, the same for Jonathan. To be honest, like his outfits weren't incre- exactly incredible. 
Like, I mean, his Superboy one is obviously inspired by 90s Superboy, but <clears throat> even still. But yeah, that's everything I've got to say for this episode. Absolutely loved it. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.